Get the upper hand on your competition with scuff controllers. Use code OGXRACE to get 5% off your entire order. Yo guys, what's up? It's X-Rays. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. So today I actually wanted to talk about a recent video that another YouTuber posted by the name of SkillUp. And he posted a video talking about why he deleted his positive review of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So I wanted to reply to that and kind of give my thought on the points that he made. You know, I disagree with some of the stuff he says. I do agree with some of the stuff he says. And more than anything, I wanted to kind of give my perspective on it. And so this is not a bash or hate video on him. This is just my simple thoughts and opinion on it because this is a pretty significant video because he does have a large fan base and he kind of does have a big spot in what they decide and really ultimately what kind of community backlash we get into our community. And so I wanted to talk about that. Now, the reason he made the video was because recently Activision decided to put a reticle in the blackjack shop. And so to him, he said that this was the final straw the straw that broke the camel's back and that he was done with the game that he then deleted the video and he even himself agreed that he might be overreacting but that you know this is how he felt and that he didn't want to support a company that was nickel and diming their entire fan base all the way through and screwing them and so first let's talk about that red reticle thing because maybe some of you guys weren't aware of this but the reticle was a daily item that was put up for 100 cod points and if anyone with half a brain saw that I don't think anyone bought it. I honestly think that everyone, when they saw it, was like, what the hell? But I wasn't pissed. I did see a lot of people who were kind of like, not really like upset by it, but kind of like confused about it. And I got to admit that it was kind of dumb that they put in a reticle in the blackjack shop. I mean, some of the stuff they put in there is just dumb in general. Like, why would anyone want to buy calling cards? Uh, maybe maybe stickers I would understand because you can use those on weapons and in customization but everything else is kind of stuff that you buy at your own will this isn't something where Activision is sitting at their computer and is like oh yeah the analytics say that they're gonna be buying this red dot site like literally what they're doing is they're, th they're throwing stuff out there to see if anyone wants to buy it and that's it they're trying to make money now there is the argument of well I already paid 60 bucks for this game I already bought the season pass for this or the black ops pass this is bull crap and I can agree with you on that you know there's all they're already monetizing the game you paid sixty dollars to get into the door and then they were like yo you want to have an even better experience with some new stuff well here's another, another 50 bucks for that season pass and then they're trying to sell you other stuff but the, the way that it is is that's just the way that Activision is would I like to see that change that'd be pretty awesome uh, honestly I'm totally cool with microtransactions if they're done right like all the reactive camos and camos that they've been doing in the shop have been in my opinion at a decent price 400 500 cod points which would be around four to five dollars uh the camels that you can get the average ones are three dollars or two dollars everything else like the skins the calling cards i don't really care for but at the end of the day it's not up to me to decide if that is something that's good or bad it's up to the consumer to decide and if they don't like it they're not gonna buy it and we'll see more of the stuff that people buy which is probably the outfits and you know reactive camels and camels so again this is activision trying to make money you can't fault them for that they're trying to make money off their game and it's not like it's changing the actual core in game game experience having that reticle there for a dollar is not going to suddenly change you're not going to suddenly be playing and be like this red dot side is complete crap you're not going to be thinking that so personally i feel like a little bit of an overreaction but anyways i digress the reason he made the video was because of that reticle i wanted to explain my side on that what i thought of it what i saw but now let's jump into the other points that he had on why it all kind of accumulated into him deleting the video so the other point he made was that the battle pass tiers were made impossible to grind for and i have to agree that first season it was a little crazy 200 tiers but at the end of the day this is all free content they're giving you i mean if you want to pay the whatever it was 100 or 200 dollars it was to get all the way to tier 200 or tier 100 whatever tier it is that is your prerogative that is what you want to do i personally have not spent a single dollar on the battle tier system i've spent them on reactive camos or regular camos but none of the tiers which are meant to be free have i paid for i grind them and quite honestly it was rather easy for me to grind sure that first season that we got the 200 tiers that one i would agree was made more to kind of make you frustrated and go like yo i really want to get to tier 200 i'll spend the money whatever fine i agree with that one that one was made way too grindy but this second season that we got the second season two version where it's 100 tiers it's all content there and we got so much time to get this i think it was at 67 days when it first started 
literally you got one free tier a day and get one more extra tier which is like 50 minutes so if you play 50 minutes and get your free tier you'll get this done by the end of the event and then some so maybe in the first bit of it yes it was a little bit too grindy and impossible to grind for but now i mean if you play multiplayer or if you play this game casually it's really not that hard to get your two tiers to get this event completed by the uh, the end of the whole thing you know so i mean 67 days you get one a day you only have to get another 40 after that so it's literally like the free tier and a little bit extra to get this done which i think you can do casually every single day it's like what 50 minutes of gameplay honestly i, I don't see the the whole reasoning behind his first point on that guy again i totally get that first season was a little bit too grindy they readjusted it made it easier and honestly a lot more fun and convenient to kind of go through and, and get cool stuff faster so if anything the pressure they got from that first season was good for this second season of content now the next thing he mentioned was that he wanted to stop people from buying the game because of the microtransactions he said he deleted his review because he didn't want people thinking that it was a good game and then going into it and then you know hating it and at the end of the day every time he mentioned that and said that he want he wants i mean at one point he even said that he wishes that activision and ea would both go bankrupt so that the developers would all have, you know be their own independent thing and go on and do their own thing and that can seem like a nice little you know rose colored pathway like oh my god finally they're free from the greedy activision but at the end of the day this is going to be a lot of people losing their money and for what so they can have one super awesome quality game that they made together but they're not going to be making as much money there's going to be people who are not you know uh, have any opportunities because they'll be fired if activision goes bankrupt and i personally would not wish for anyone to lose their job they might be working for the greediest company in the world why would i want them to lose their job if they're just a spoke on the wheel you know they're just the ones keeping the, the car going it's kind of sad that, that anyone would wish this upon anyone would there be some awesome games coming out of these guys if they were completely independent yes but i bet you that a lot of those people who are working on games would much rather have their job security than be one of the many failed companies that was either taken over after by a bigger company who screwed them even more or did their own thing and never really got any kind of limelight out of it so that's just my point on that but yeah he wanted people to stop buying the game because of the microtransactions and he didn't want more people to buy the game because of his review and he himself said that this game is a fun game is there issues yes i'm part of the call of duty community i see the issues there's a ton of bugs and and glitches and errors and crap that we should be giving trey our crap for and activision for but at the end of the day is this a fun game yes is this different from what we've had before yes it breaks the mold of what it was before so at that point you're just essentially deleting your video because you don't want people to you know be blinded by this microtransaction in their face and you know you don't want to be a part of that and i can understand that but at the end of the day every single person who plays treyarch games or who plays call of duty games or plays any other game that has microtransactions it's up to them to decide if they think it's worth it or not they can get really upset at it or they can strangely be really happy at it. Personally, like I was saying, I really enjoy the reactive camos and regular camos as a content creator because there's content for me to make. Other people probably hate it. I mean, Black Ops 3 system, I absolutely hated the supply drop system they had for weapons. I would get pissed when I saw people excited for new weapons, <laughs> I'll be honest. But this system feels a little bit more fair. You get the items or the weapons for free. Everything else is just cosmetic. And if you want to spend the money, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. I don't think you should be shielding people from games just because it has microtransactions like are you going to do the same for every game that has microtransactions i don't think so you know games have microtransactions that's just the way it is so that's just my opinion on that guy and then he mentioned that all of the little microtransactions in the blackjack shop that they had including the red dot site was like going to a restaurant and getting charged for napkins or other stuff like that and to that i say that is nowhere near a perfect example of that because a reticle is a cosmetic choice that you can put on your weapon. The better equivalent would be if you went to a fancy restaurant and were getting charged money to use a gold spoon while you were eating. Would you have loved if it was a part of the experience? Maybe. But if you're going to a fancy restaurant, you're going there for the food, for the main experience, you have to be actually able to eat. And I'm sure they're providing you silverware and they're providing you napkins and stuff. Uh, more the equivalent would be if they were like, do you want this super fancy napkin or do you want this 
gold plated spoon that would be more of a perfect example they wouldn't be charging you for the napkins that's just me all right so the final point that i want to go over was that he was saying that the reticle says that the company does not care about their fans and that they are just trying to get as much money out of them and to that i say hell yes they are they're just trying to get as much money out of us as they can and they will continue to do it and will they take a shot like ea i don't think so ea like super messed up like literally holy hell they must have been incredibly stupid to make the decisions they did in battlefront 2 and in some of the other games i still feel like it's a little questionable but you know that's because they went too far like microtransactions for cosmetic stuff that you don't need doesn't feel like it's suddenly some huge uproar where people are going to be absolutely livid so, but again, he said that they don't care about their fans. And to that, I'll say, you know what? Activision probably doesn't care about their fans. Does Treyarch, Sledgehammer Games, and Infinity Ward care about their fans? Hell yeah, they do. They're the ones making the games. They're the ones spending a long time. This guy himself, Skill Up, said that a lot of the developers for Black Ops 4 were thanking him and telling him that they were so happy to hear the positive reviews. And at the end of the day, these people are grinding. They're putting their time. They're putting probably even ahead of their family to try to get this done, putting in long hours. And it just feels unfair to say that people shouldn't buy their game because of the decision the publisher made or that they don't care about their fans when it's in fact maybe the publisher who doesn't care about their fans and to that even to that point I'm like if you go to any entertainment event if you go to a baseball game if you go to see a movie if you go to see wrestling or, or whatever it is that you want to see something that is entertainment based you're going to pay for bloated prices and crap that you don't need. Whenever I go to see a movie, do I buy the popcorn and the oversized sodas? And do I pay the extra 30 bucks? Like I paid $3 to see the movie and then they charge me $30 for the rest? Hell no. I go to the grocery store in the corner, buy myself some chips, go down to like Burger King or something and buy myself food and then take that crap into the game or into the movie theater because I know they're going to overcharge me. Are people up in arms and saying, oh my God, what is AMC? theater is doing charging 20 bucks for this popcorn no because you know that they're trying to get money out of you and that this is just the way that it is it's the same thing with games they're trying to get money out of you i just i don't see why people don't see that equivalent but that's just my own personal opinion on that but i wanted again to make this video not to hate on skill ups he has a right to his opinion if you wanted to take down his review he can take it down. He can make a video talking about how he hated it and it was the worst game of all time because it's his opinion and he has a right to his opinion and he can post whatever he wants, but I just wanted to give my own counter argument to it. This is not me writing Activision or trying to be a yes man or, you know, oh, I want to go to the capture events. This is just me like taking into reality what I see around me and, you know, I, I personally feel like a lot of people get angry over a lot of dumb stuff and it's just the world that we live in now. I feel Feel. like the people are offended by everything anything you say anything you do there will be people offended and that's just the way that it is now so uh that's just my argument there do i think that activision is doing scummy stuff yes i think that they do a lot of scummy stuff what they did with black ops 3 was horrendous but at the end of the day i understand also that they're a company and they're doing what they want to try to get money out of it now is it the best or uh, ideal plan no is it going to cost them fans down the line? Yes, it's already costing them now, but you know, that's just the way that it is. We can argue about it and we can try to steer them in the right direction, but at the end of the day, they're a company and they're going to do whatever they want to do. So that's just the way that it is. So personally, I think that this game has been really fun. It's been a really good game in my opinion. I wish it didn't have all the bugs and issues. I've been reporting on those and I have been enjoying their blackjack market. I, did I think the, uh, the reticle was dumb? Yes. <laughs> that was incredibly confusing but i enjoy the reactive camos and i like the regular camos and i've been enjoying that they're much cheaper than i thought they were going to be after a little while they're like super expensive at first and not really worth it but then once they made reactive camos available on all weapons and the regular camos are like two or three dollars i was like this is something that i can deal with and i'm totally cool with and at least we're getting free stuff in a free supply system like that to me is the best part. The fact that we're getting weapons that you can earn and that you really don't have to grind that hard for, like literally 50 minutes and a win gets you all the way there by the end of the event and even sooner than that. I just feel like there's really nothing too huge to complain about microtransaction wise. Are there too many microtransactions? Probably. Are they horrendous? I don't think so. I think that they're just trying to fish and see if anyone wants the stuff that's there. And if they don't, then whatever. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like and a favor on the video, guys. It's super, super appreciated and incredibly helpful. And if you are new to the channel, if you want to see even more videos like these, I'm going to have a ton more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 news, info, rumors, leaks, and more coming. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have notifications on 
so you don't miss a single upload here on the channel and if you guys want to support the channel directly you guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships you get access to early content exclusive videos and special badges that show up in all of my live streams and in the comment sections of all my videos so check that out only if you are willing and able to if you want to talk about anything go ahead and give me a follow on twitter i'm constantly on there talking so go ahead and give me a follow at ogx rays i'll have a link down below along with links to my gaming and second channel you guys have an awesome day i'm out peace